Hey, we're back to Bioshock! Yep. Boom! You know what they say about heavily rigged rooms in video games. They have lots of loot, your favorite thing. And maybe a boss battle. Well, maybe. I just figured more of the things that you needed would be in here, but who knows. I don't think you're gonna fight a boss until you make that bomb. Yeah. This game is nice. I'm about to talk about that. It's nice and some nice, good, smooth jazz. Hey, you got some electric goo. Mmm, goo. I like goo. Do you? I don't believe it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> or if it's like sauce. What? Like gooey sauce for food. Like what? Can you give me an example of a gooey sauce? Uh. Oh, hey, a power to the people! Wow! Another one. Telekinesis is so good at getting rid of those. Mm -hmm. I think it might be the only way of getting rid of them. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Well, what are you gonna pick? Do you wanna randomize again? <laughs> no. Alright, cool. You have two fully upgraded weapons, as the pop-up so annoyingly just told us. <laughs> What's that? What is that? That's what I just asked. Try shooting the other crossbow bolt. Did that actually do something? Oh, that's the nitric larsen you could say you need. Larsen? Yeah, you need that. Maybe there's some way to open it. Check the the desk. There's like a dot journal in there. Is there blood in the streets? Of course. Have some chosen to destroy themselves with careless splicing on the Nile. But I will make no proclamations. I will dictate no laws. The great chain moves slowly, but with wisdom. It is our impatience that invites in the parasite of big government. And once you've invited it in, it will never stop feeding on the body of the city. Hmm. Oh, is that a button you can press? Uh, maybe. Intriguing switch. Aha! Nope. There, you got the nitroglycerin you need. Glycerin? Yeah, however you pronounce that. I guess you had to go in here then. Yeah, well, that's what I figured. Yeah, I figured you had to go all around to find all those things you need. Because that was like the thing that you needed one of, you know what I mean? That was like the special main component. But he said it was in his desk. So I guess that's what we got. Makes sense, we are in the office of him. Here and he is his office, so that makes sense that we would find it here exactly where he said we would find it. Also, nitroglycerin isn't very uh, common to have around. What do people usually use it for? Bombs. Oh, cool. Basically, bombs. That's the only thing you use nitroglycerin for. Really? That's it? I think so. Huh, alright. I might be wrong. I could look it up. Because I, I can be wrong about a lot of things. Hey, you! Don't be alive! <laughs> don't worry, I'll fix that problem. You're electric. Loot him. He might have things you need. He didn't, but he could have. They keep giving you, like, I think this is a joke. They keep giving you the, the items that, like, you needed for the last thing you constructed. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, haha, it's not the one that you actually need. You can put that one component in there. Okay, you put the nitroglycerin in there, and I need the other things. Okay, what, what were the other things in here? Um, check your inventory, but you know it'll be on a glowing corpse, right? Because we saw that. Oh, yeah. Nitroglycerin. Oh, a bunch of sciencey crap. I just want to know uses. What's it used for? It might get you blacklisted, love. Is a major component in double-based smokeless gunpowders. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Okay, so maybe it's not just bombs, just for weapons. There are hundreds of powder combinations combined with nitrocellulose that are used by rifle, pistol, and shotgun reloaders. Hello, Big Daddy. I don't it has also been you. used medically as a potent vasodilator. What's a vasodilator? Dilation of the vascular system to treat heart conditions, such as chronic heart failure. So, no, it is used for more than just bombs. Alright. I just don't know anything. Well, you're not a chemist. I also like fire. Jeff is a chemist. Our friend Jeff. He is. He's a biochemist? I, I don't know. Or, no, he's just a chem he's a chemical engineer. Yes. That's pretty awesome. Welcome. Yes, it is. I mean, like, that's an awesome job. It is. Probably get some more first aid kits. You're pretty low. I mean, yeah, you can check your journal to see the other things we were missing, but I mean, we still have to find them anyway, you know what I mean? As long as we're just searching everywhere. I don't know if they're going to be in special spots or plate in a minute. Have we not been here before? No. Oh, well, that's good. That means we might find the things we need. Don't run away from me! What? Well, you're on fire. Did you not heal? Well, now knows who, where the fuck we are. Oh, I got hiccups. Uh. Oh, oh, hey! I think just all the big daddies have those wire clusters you need. Because there were four big daddies, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe each big daddy has a wire cluster. Maybe you should kill that one and see if it has a wire cluster. Well, it depends on how low his health is. Well, if it has a wire cluster, you're going to have to kill it regardless, huh? I don't want to kill it. Okay, let's just not advance the game. <laughs> I just did so many big daddy killings. Wait, there's something to your left. Too late. I mean, if you die, it'll be right there. But so far, those things have been exclusively on the corpses of big daddies. You know what I mean? So maybe just every big daddy corpse will have them. Oh, what about that big daddy corpse that was, like, on the way to the place we went to initially? The one that was in the waterfall? You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Hey, you can see below the floor. Yeah. I'm getting tired. I can tell. Because you're getting less talkative and a little more annoyed by my statements. Okay. It's okay, I'm making very annoying statements. It's just, I'm like in the middle of doing something, I'm like, oh, check this out! And I'm like, damn it! How dare you, you help me and talk in a video game show where we talk. I know. And play the video I'm game. <laughs> Did he just slap? He didn't even use his drill. He just straight up slapped you. Mm -hmm. Bam! Oh, he should be right there, though, and just about dead. He can cuddle with his buddy again after we kill him. Alright, he's dead. Ah, uh, cuddle pile! But he's not glowing, so I guess he didn't have what you need. So I just wasted my time and energy? Yeah, but we didn't know. No! Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. He had it! He just didn't glow. So, I think just any Big Daddy corpse has them. We just, we can get them from the ones that already exist, or we can get them by killing new ones. Now look to your right really quick. Oh, well, you know. That's one of the ionic gels you need. Didn't we see oh, another shit. cake like well, that somewhere? Oh, there's a ton of those. Yeah, so you need to find one more of those and one more Big Daddy corpse. Oh my corpse. god, this asshole needs to stop his spinning. Nobody likes it. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up. These boots were making money for walking, and that's just what they'll do. So yeah, now we know what we gotta get. We got one, gotta get one more of those tanks that are laying around everywhere, and and one and one more big daddy. Comes. There he's dead. <laughs> he's slowly flying. Down. Now, I want to say, like, the one place we kept going back to over and over again, where there started being all the blackouts and stuff, mm -hmm. wasn't there a big daddy corpse just lying there underneath a, a, a rushing flow of water? Yeah. Is that behind you? Is it there? No, I don't think so. But we might as well look around here. Yeah, wait, wasn't it there, to the Hephaestus core? Maybe not. I'm just getting confused. Oh. 
I don't think you need that. Well, but you guys might get scoop some cool stuff. Mm. Mm. Some heart seeking RPGs might be good. Excuse me, heat seeking. Heart, heart seeking <laughs> RPGs would be really scary. Mm, that is pretty creepy. <laughs> oh, this doesn't detect heat, it detects people's hearts. <laughs> heart seeking RPG. What's booze hound? It's alcohol. You can make yourself alcohol. Oh, it's a tonic. Drinking alcohol restores your Eve. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, now I got that. So I think it was one of the things where it's like it restores health but takes away Eve. And I kept making all the comparisons to Metal Gear Solid with that. A shocky hand or shoot it quick. Now shoot. There you go. That's efficiency. Hey, it's uh... You're efficient. Aren't those things elevators? Yep. Oh... I know I'm getting <laughs> shot at by multiple times by a robot, but I really got to get these five dollars. I think you missed. No, you didn't. Sweet. So, is there anything in here? Oh, is that one of the things you need? No, it's just some liquid nitrogen. And you're already full. Yeah. What about those elevators? Are they in use? Nope. Offline. We still gotta find one more Big Daddy Corps and one more of those blue tanks. Is that water? Yeah, it's water. Is it shallow water? Can you even go in it? Is that a reflection? I guess it won't even let you go into it. Alright, well, never mind, never mind. Yeah. Alright. Interesting. Alright. <clears throat> Welcome to the Circus of Valiant! <laughs> hmm. People. Slicer scum. Uh, check that way. Just check all the doors. Sorry, I'm not. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't this this is the place where I thought there was a big daddy uh, corpse hanging around? Yeah. But maybe there's not. Maybe I just imagined it. Oh well. There might still be what? Well, there might still be one of those blue things mm -hmm. in, in here. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's one of the blue things. Mm -hmm. Now we just gotta find a big daddy corpse. Or make one. Find it or make it. That's right. Which we know there's a big daddy that lumbers around here. If we feel like killing it. What if you could just befriend the big daddy and then just take it from him? She's like, yeah, you can have this. I don't think that'll work. Well, I know. That's why it was a what if question. Welcome to the trash can of garbage! Yeah! <laughs> and I have like papyrus. Yeah. Oh, hey, there we go. Shock it. Shock it and lock it. Well, he's already like half dead, too. Were you shooting from the ground? Yeah. That was awesome! You get a chance to shock it. Alright, I mean, yeah, I guess it was. Alright, that should be the last thing we need. Yes! You got everything for the bond! Oh, yeah. Oh shit, you're being attacked. Oh, Bitch, out of my way. Oh yeah, alright, we stop the dancing. Oh, there's multiple of you. One more it. time, we gonna celebrate. Ooh yeah, alright, we stop the dancing. That might be my favorite Daft Punk song. I don't know why, for some reason, I just love that one. I just love come one on, more come time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
It just, you know, it sounds like a really pleasant party. You know what I mean? It's not like a super high energy rave, but it's something you can dance to. You're just like, yeah, you know what? I'm having a good time, and I'm remembering all the good times. One more time. Let's all have a really good time. It makes me actually, I'm tearing up. Because it's a oh, song really? that makes me really, really nostalgic and remember all the good times. So, I don't know. That song really resonates with me for some reason. Like... I don't know. I tend to, when I think of my favorite Daft Punk songs, I tend to think of Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger because I listen to that song a lot. But for whatever reason, I just have some kind of special connection with One More Time. I I love Daft Punk. <laughs> I like Daft Punk a lot too. They're my favorite electronic band. Oh, they defined it. They defined electronic music. Mm -hmm. I know we're supposed to be done with this episode, but it's it's our last episode tonight, and I really want to see you construct the bond. Yeah. So I'm going to stretch it an extra couple minutes here. Alright. So far as far as electronic music goes, my favorites are Daft Punk, Dead Mouse, and Nero. Those are all good. But with Skrillex kind of being far behind. Those ones. I, you know, I like the, um... What would you call that again? Like what Skrillex does? Uh, dubstep. I like the dubstep stuff fine, but it's not my favorite. Like, uh, I, I like listening to to it for, like, the um, experimental aspects and stuff. And, like, wow, what do they do with this? Wow, that's really interesting. But it's not my favorite thing to listen to by creation. You know what I mean? Oh, really? Yeah. I love dubstep a lot. I know. It, for me, it's But, like, I'd, me, uh... I'd rather listen to Daft Punk than dubstep. Oh, yeah. Is what I'm saying, basically. Mm -hmm. That one's just relaxing. Right. When I think of relaxing, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna groove to this music, I don't think of. Call 911! Oh, no. <laughs> don't listen to. That's what I'm saying. You don't listen to Skrillex to be relaxing. Really, what Skrillex music and other, like. Oh, what's it called again? I hope none of my neighbors heard me shout, call 911. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Anyways, uh, Skrillex and other like dubstep music. Mm -hmm. What it does for me is give me like ideas for like fight scenes. Okay. For like sci-fi shows. So or it gives you it ideas. gives you inspiration. Yeah. Well, with most music, I kind of like envision scenes where that music would go well, or relationships that would go well with that music. Oh yeah, totally. Um. So yeah, with like. Bitch, stop coming back to life. Stop coming. Anyways, um... What was I gonna say? But yeah, like, a lot of Skrillex's music inspired that, like, sci-fi idea I have. Mm. Where, like, I want to do, like, Martian gladiators and stuff. Right, you have an idea for a, di a totally different, like, webcomic type thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to I want to make, like, an adventure sci-fi about Martian warriors Okay, do it again. Um... There you go. Martian we better warrior. cut off there. Okay. One, finish, finish your thing about the Martian warrior. Shit, no, I'm, my brain's farting like serious. You got to put it on the core past geothermal control, and we'll see if these needle noses knew what the hell they were talking about. Okay, we do have to cut off. So I guess, yeah, let's talk about your um, Martian gladiator uh, sci-fi idea next time. Just yeah. don't let me forget. Don't, we'll, don't let we'll, me forget we'll, either. Because we'll record it again in two days. So Wait, what? I, I guess we could record another episode right now. Oh, if you want to. Because I'm going to totally forget that idea All right. later. So we'll see you guys next time, which for us All will right. be in like two minutes. Yep. Yeah.